वेलकम टू द प्रोब्स पॉड्यूमेंट्री आर पॉड्यूमेंट्री इज अ सीरीज ऑफ ऑडियो डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज ऑन टॉपिक्स एंड स्टोरीज दैट मैटर टू पीपल एंड अ पार्ट ऑफ अ पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट जर्नलिज्म इन इंडिया यू आर लिसनिंग टू मी प्रेमा श्रीदेवी हियर इज अ न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ अ पॉड्यूमेंट्री टाइटल्ड अनलॉक द पावर ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट द यूनाइटेड नेशन डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड द ऑक्सफर्ड पॉवर्टी एंड ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इनिशिएटिव रिलीज द ग्लोबल मल्टी डायमेंशनल पॉवर्टी इंडेक्स रिपोर्ट लास्ट मंथ According to the report, Meghalaya and Assam are some of the poorest states in India. The Niti Aayog's multidimensional poverty index report also puts Assam, Meghalaya and some more northeastern states on the poorest list. Why are some of the northeastern states that are endowed with rich natural resources multidimensionally poor? Karma Paljor, editor in chief of East Mojo says that the tyranny of distance and insurgencies have taken a toll on india's seven sister states one of the main reasons as some of the top editors of the country would put it is the tyranny of distance and how far northeast is located from the rest of india so due to that the region was ignored uh, by various governments who came into power one after another so there was very little development Uh, as far as building of roads is concerned as far as building railway lines are concerned uh, so we saw that the other region of course uh, other reason of course internally was the kind of uh, insurgencies that we saw in fact at one time it was known as the land of thousand insurgencies uh, most of the states if you look at nagaland if you look at manipur if you look at assam uh, there were issues and it stems from the fact that there are so many tribes there are so many different communities residing here uh so there are the, you know various languages if you go into sub uh, uh, dialects it's, it's huge so because of that uh the uh, states of the northeast remain uh, behind now when you mean poverty do we see uh, people out of their homes do we see homelessness do we see uh, people dying of hunger no we do not see that it's a tribal society so we take care of each other in these states and all but the issues are uh, you know regarding malnutrition that is there because people uh, and especially children do not get the adequate nutrition that is necessary one uh, the second issue can be lack of basic health care in most of the remote regions we do not even have doctors While internal conflicts have hurt the northeastern states, the annual flooding of the Brahmaputra River and corruption in implementing government schemes have all added to the woes of the people of the northeast. Professor Sanjay Hazarika, director of Center for Northeast Studies and Policy Research, Jamia Millia Islamia says, the peculiar geographical condition and the remoteness of the northeast make it very disconnected from the rest of India. there's been a major internal conflict which have gone on since the 1950s first in the in nagaland then in mizoram manipur and then assam and tripura to so to a much lesser degree in in meghalaya so this has been one of the biggest factors in uh, the lack of growth the second thing as for assam is concerned there is a very peculiar geographical uh, condition which is that assam is a narrow narrow state uh, which largely lies in a valley most of it lies in a valley the brahmaputra valley where the flood plains extend for many kilometers on either side of the river uh, as a result of annual floods uh you have very few months in the year when you can actually do what's called development or infrastructure work because first you're preparing for the flood then you're dealing with it then you are repairing the the damages caused by the floods and the erosion and the widespread devastation that's taken place while assam and meghalaya are multidimensionally poor A recent report by the Center for Monitoring Indian Economy (CMIE) stated that Tripura was on top of the joblessness list in the northeast. According to Professor Sanjoy, because of poverty and unemployment, 
the youth from the northeastern states are migrating to the metros looking for greener pastures one thing that has happened is that because of the lack of opportunities and um, i think what has happened is because i work a lot on rivers and uh, the changing geography of rivers erosion of river banks erosion of islands for instance uh, brahmaputra has about nearly 3000 islands on which nearly 30 lakh people live now many of these people and on the mainland in assam in uh, manipur nagaland etc are migrating to other parts of the country including the big metros for livelihoods and education jobs and uh, settling so this is a very major trend in the northeast you can have natural resources but you may not have access to them faced with insurgencies and dismal job prospects the northeastern youth today are not just moving out to other states looking for jobs but they are also moving to metros for education dundi c kongsit president of the federation of khasi jaintia and garo people says the problem is so precarious that the states alone can't stem the tide anymore it is very sorry to say that it is uh, almost 75 years that we have uh, that india uh, has celebrated her independence but the thing is that like when we look back the year that we as a state we are getting a statehood which now is we are going, we have reached the uh, s- s- stepping stone of 50 years celebration so we find that we found that our state has been neglect in very very different sectors especially in the educational sector as as it is today meghalaya ha, does not have its own uh, uh, university does not have our own engineering college medical college and so on and so forth so that is why this is one of the reason which have uh, uh, have make a state to become to be left behind compare with other state in india it needs a lot of support from the central government the state the state government alone cannot make cannot do anything the northeast region has an unemployment rate much higher than the national average and contributed just 2.8% to the country's gdp in 2019 and 2020 according to the 2020 and 2021 periodic labor force survey plfs Nagaland has an unemployment rate of 19.3%. The politics of NRC and CAA, the devastating impact of COVID-19 coupled with internal conflicts have all affected the economy of the Northeast, says Suhas Chakma, director of Rights and Risks Analysis Group. Assam and Meghalaya also are the two states in the Northeast India which rely quite a lot on tourism. and during the covid period tourism had adversely affected and apart from the tourism issue uh, prior to the start of the covid 19 you know, assam was adversely affected by the politics of nrc politics of the citizenship amendment act and the entire state machinery was caught in that and you know i mean the political conflicts over identities not necessarily armed conflict in a way prevented participation of the people in their daily life and it ultimately ends up having some form of negative impact and wherever there is a political movement then they ultimately have impact on economic performance of the individuals Even though the seven sister states are endowed with rich natural resources, most of it is still untapped. But even when many states in the northeast are multidimensionally poor, Suhas Chakma says not many people sleep hungry in the region. Poverty if you define based on the per capita income or you know based on how much you are consuming per day or you know how much you are spending like 1 dollar per day then obviously you will not necessarily get the correct pictures of poverty but i think we have to bear in mind that of course the northeast 
compared to the other states if you take the natural or the the usual economic parameters to define poverty you could say that you know people in the north is are very poor but you could also say on the other way that lots of indigenous communities they are resourceful so they usually do not go hungry so they are endowed with natural resources where they could get their food you know vegetables etc so while you know with possibly about 100 rupees or 200 rupees per day you could not survive in bihar but that should necessarily not be the truth in the northeast india where people are dependent on the natural resources and they are endowed with the natural resources why has a region endowed with rich natural resources failed to participate in india's growth story human rights and social activist dr dibya jyoti saikia says perhaps india has failed the northeast to chai ka udyog yahan par hai bahut badi udyog hai duniya mein ye assam ki chai to yahan chote chote kafi hazaron bagan hai तो जिस ढंग से लोगों को पैसा मिलना चाहिए तो काम करने के बावजूद उतना पैसा लोगों को नहीं मिलता है चाहे जो कच्चा माल होते हैं ना ग्रीन लिफ्ट बेचते हैं तो जो लोग खरीदते हैं लोग जितना पैसा देना चाहिए एक मतलब जो एक किसान है चाय का तो उनका खर्चा जितना होता है मेहनत जितना होता है टाइम जितना उनको देना पड़ता है उस हिसाब से पैसा उनको नहीं मिलता है जो प्रोड्यूस करते हैं प्रोड्यूसर को नहीं मिलते हैं सब्जी की जो खेती करते हैं उन लोगों को ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स की सब्जी की जो खेत करते हैं उन लोगों को काफी कम पैसा मिलता है पैसा किसको मिलता है जो मुनाफा जो दलाल होता है बीच में रहते हैं उन लोगों को और गवर्नमेंट का टैक्सेस है टूल टैक्स है ये सब टैक्सेस वगैरह है तो आम आदमी ज्यादा पैसा दे के सब्जी खरीद के खाते हैं मगर जो प्रोडक्शन करते हैं प्रोड्यूसर है जो किसान है आम किसान है उन लोगों को वो नहीं मिलते हैं मोस्ट स्टेट्स इन द रीजन हैव अ हिली टेरेन व्हिच मेक्स रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट डिफिकल्ट पुअर कनेक्टिविटी इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट इंपेडिमेंट्स टू द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ ऑफ द स्टेट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू डॉक्टर दिव्य ज्योति नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट्स विल शो इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ वंस इंडिजिनस इंडस्ट्रीज आर गिवन एन इंपेटस द प्राइवेट सेक्टर व्हिच इज पार्सली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इज गिवन अ बूस्ट and farmers and cultivators are given a fair price for their produce sabse pehle yahan ke jitna bhi kisan hai to kisan ko subsidized saman jo equipments hota hai aur seeds jo seeds hote hain quality based agar badhiya seeds kam rate mein mile jo jo bhi sadhan ka zaruri hai krishi kaam ke liye wo kam mile कम कम रेट में मिले दूसरी जो प्रोड्यूसर है जो खे, मतलब यहाँ खेत पे जुड़े रहते हैं जो प्रोडक्शन करते हैं जो खे, खेती बाती करते हैं किसान है किसान का रेट थोड़ा आ, बढ़ना चाहिए हालांकि पूरे इंडिया में बढ़ना चाहिए यहाँ में भी बढ़ना चाहिए कि किसी सामान जै, जैसे मैं उदाहरण दे आपको बोलूंगा भिंडी भिंडी का किलो जब निकालते हैं यहाँ पर एक सौ हम लोग खरीद के खाते हैं मगर जो प्रोड्यूसर है उनको 20 या 22 रुपया मिलते हैं देखिए 100 रुपया का फर्क आता है जब 80 रुपया होता है यहाँ 18 रुपया में बेचना पड़ता है इन लोगों को तो ये बीच का पैसा कौन खाता है बीच का पैसा जो गेट्स वगैरह है गवर्नमेंट जो सिस्टम है गुंडा जो टैक्स है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन है दलाल है यही लोग खा देते हैं तो आम आदमी के लिए इतना हाई प्राइस है और जो गरीब किसान काम करते हैं उन लोगों के पैसा कम मिलते हैं तो ये सब में सुधार चाहिए जैसे चाय का प्रोडक्शन करने में इतना मुश्किल है इतना मतलब लेबर लगते हैं इसका बहुत सारे काम उसमें होते हैं बहुत बहुत सारा काम होते हैं प्रोडक्शन करने में उनको एक 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 किलो में अगर एक या दो रुपया ही प्रॉफिट मिले तो किसान कैसे आगे बढ़ेगा नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया नॉट जस्ट हैज अनटैप्ड इकोनॉमिक रिजर्व but rich human resources unlocking the power of the people of the northeast could just be the way forward says karma paljor there is immense power in the indigenous communities a growth of the entrepreneurship ecosystem skilling up the youngsters and a relentless focus on tapping the abundant natural resources could just help the northeast unlock its true potential we need more entrepreneurs from the northeast because they understand the region much better 
If this entrepreneurship ecosystem grows, then we will be heading to a, a future where we are creating, having job creators instead of people who seek jobs only in government. A second, we need to skill the uh, young people of the Northeast because they are very unskilled. Once you skill the young people of the Northeast and once you have industries, then they'll get employment. And employment, I mean not just employment, you know. Employment has to be meaningful. Employment is something that the youth of this uh, region uh, should be happy, should feel fulfilled. Uh, the other area that we really need to work on is agriculture and animal husbandry, uh, say horticulture, uh, where we need to train our youth, bring in programs and make these, uh, you know, this sector uh, sustainable. That will help. Today, our youth are not interested in agriculture, horticulture, which can be very profitable, uh, but they are moving out. Uh, to other states 